guys, I'm going to make a review video of the Rampage soft top for my two-door Bronco. Uh, I posted a pretty in-depth review on the forum, so you might have seen that. A lot of people were pretty happy with it. A lot of people also asked about if you can completely remove the top, so let's check it out. So a lot of people asked if just the front panel is the part that flips back, and the answer is yes. It's super easy. It uses the hard top hooks. Undo that one. Undo the one over here. There's a little grab handle right here. You just flip it back. Super easy. Do it one hand from the driver's seat without getting up. Here's what that looks like. Now the rear windows, those have like hooks that go into these channels along the side and bottom right here. And then up top, you open up this part. So I got it up. It's hard to do with one hand, but it's basically a big pocket. So this whole thing comes up and this is onboard window storage. It comes in this bag. It has three layers for each window. So they're not touching each other. Pretty handy, um, so you can take the windows with you wherever you want. It's not too bulky or anything. So, up here, it has these zippers that go around on the top. And then back here, the rear window goes here and it has zippers on the side and it connects the side window to the rear window. Um, so you just undo the Velcro up here, zippers up there and the zipper down the side along with Velcro and that's how you take out the windows. The rear window also slides into this channel, which this is removable. So it slides in there and you just hook it in there and it pulls it pretty tight through these little, it's got these hooks. So now a lot of people have asked about taking the whole top off, which I don't plan to do. I don't really notice a difference with the whole top off versus just the front panel off. You still get that open air experience, but this is how you do it. So I noticed these bolts have gotten a little rusty, so maybe swap those out. These are M10 bolts, I believe, or M8 bolts. It'll have in the directions, whatever it is. Um, maybe swap those out, you know, because this one, two weeks, it's already got some rust. I already got some rust. You can see over there, I got some rust. Um, but anyways, so you would undo this. There's a tiny little hex nut right there along with this. Use maybe like some pliers to undo that. There's also another one in the back. Undo that one. And then underneath, there's these crossbows right here. Uh, and the bracket that goes along top right here has a hook. The crossbow just slides into the hook right there so it's not you know, too difficult to remove. Once you take the top off, then you can slide that out. Um, it's not secured to the side back there, but you come back here and the strap right here has a hook. You'd undo this plate right here. This is part of my JCR bracket, so if you don't have that it makes it easier but you would loosen this plate with this bolt and then you can kind of kind of pick it up a little bit undo the hook and then do all that on the other side and that's how you remove the entire top super simple maybe take a couple minutes um, if you want that whole open air experience so so far i've taken it through a car wash uh, here in florida we get a lot of pop-up thunderstorms kind of all last week it was raining pretty hard and storming so the top held up fine uh, no leaking the wind noise is a little bit louder than the hard top um, especially at highway speeds it all comes from kind of the front area where the where it latches um, it's not terrible you know wind noise is to be expected with a soft top 
I can't compare it to the best stop or the factory soft top because I've never owned one of those. Um, but it's been good. The material feels durable. Um, another thing that I'd like to say is these rear speaker bolts on the two door only make contact with the rear window. Um, so that is a little bit of a concern. I've heard maybe putting some felt over this or you know, countersinking bolts or getting bolts with a flatter head. Uh, also the aftermarket Maybit pods from Amazon, those will work. They don't have those bolts protruding out. Um, so those are an option. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review video. Uh, I really love the top. I've gotten a lot of good feedback on it. Uh, super easy to use. I think it looks pretty good. I like it better than the best top. Uh, just due to the fact that with the best top, you have all that stuff kind of back there. It covers the roll bar. gives it kind of a weird bowl cut look or like a hat or something. Um, you know, it's retails for $9.99, which is, I think, the price of the Best Stop Sunrider. So, I love it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.